I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction. If you don't already know, American Mahjong is divided into two phases. The first phase is called the Charleston, where players pass three tiles that they don't want up to seven times. A hand can change drastically from the beginning of the Charleston to the end of the Charleston. So I like to test my instincts by doing this exercise. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine which player we are. I rolled a nine. We're going to be player one. The joker indicates a one. I'll get 14 tiles and then create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Okay, we have a joker, a pair of red dragons, one, three, six, and dots. We have six bams with a pair of threes and a five, nine. If this were your starting hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If this were my hand, I think I would play 369 or 135. 369 or 135. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's focus on 135. 135. This is even the right joker. 1335 dragon. This would be the fourth hand down under odds. So let's keep the dragons in this five. I'm gonna take a photo before we do the Charleston now, because we wanna recreate this and see maybe if 369 would have been a better choice. Okay. Let's pass these three. Little odds. We got a red. We have like numbers. I would not pass like numbers. That's almost as bad as passing a pair, I think. One, three, three, five, dragon. I would say we should just pick that hand. Let's pass these three. We'll take a photo of this. We got a keeper and we have tiles we can pass. We'll take a photo of that. One, three, three, five, dragon. It would be really good to get a one or a three in dots. We got the wrong suit. If we didn't have a joker, I might consider playing a pair hand, one, three, five pair hand, but I don't want to throw away a joker. I'd rather use it. We got a keeper. One, three, three, five red. For that hand, we need a Kong. Now we're on our optional cross. We don't even need this joker. Pair, pair, pung, pung, kong. Because we're so close, I would risk passing like numbers. Let's see if we can get a one dot or a three dot. I'll take a photo of that. I would not pass a flower. I would go ahead and say I would like two. I don't think there's anything in here that we want, but I'm going to go ahead and 
do it. We passed one blind. So we've got a five and a seven. But here, we're one away from set. We need a one dot or a three dot. We could pung and then wait on these and be ready to win. Three away. I think that was a really good hand. Really category. Although we did pick this particular hand pretty early on. Primarily because of those red dragons. There's only one dragon hand in odds. So it was kind of the only choice really. So let's rebuild and see if 369 would have been a better choice. Or maybe even the pair hand. And then sacrifice this. So remember that we had three discards with this choice. This was our starting lineup. I forgot to take a picture of the first pass. So by process of elimination, I think I figured it out. Okay, now, 369, that's what we were thinking of. 369 or the 135 pair hand. I really wouldn't consider that with a joker though. Let's look at 369. 369. There is one hand that we can use with a dragon there are actually two but one is matching one is knitted three six nine so we need a six crack so let's pass one of each suit let's see if three six nine comes in we got a six a red and we have tiles we can pass Now, 369, we don't have the right nine for knitted, but with these here, we could maybe play one suit or 369 knitted using this right here. 369 bam dragon or 369 dot. Or we could do three, six, six, nine, but we'd have to throw away a pung of dragons. I want to use those dragons. So let's give ourselves options to use those dragons. Let's give up a nine crack. Well, let's keep the nine crack. Maybe we'll get a three crack. Let's give up the six dot. I suppose we could have played maybe like numbers with sixes. Let's hold the three and give up the three dot. Three, six, nine, or like numbers with sixes, since we have the dragon. There's a nine. Oh, we gave up the three dot. We have a three bam here, though. Let's give it up. Let's focus on bams. We want a nine bam. Or three crack. Or sixes. There's a three crack. 369, 369, one suit. So now we have to decide 369 and one suit or like numbers with sixes. Let's break up the three. Forget about knitted. Either like numbers with sixes or 369 concealed. We got a red dragon. Big surprise. Now the concealed hand requires only three. Like numbers with sixes requires only three dragons there. So let's give up a dragon and pass these three. We got a nine and a flower, three, six, nine. I would try for three, six, nine concealed. 
you need a pair of flowers, pungs of 369 with the matching dragon, five discards. We, we still can do optional cross though. So let's, let's pass these three. I don't think there's anything in here. No. Discards, five discards. So I think little odds was better. No gaps though, so this is viable. 369 concealed. If you decide to do this exercise at home, don't forget to take photos of your incoming passes. That got a little complicated unnecessarily. Sorry about that. So with this exercise, I think the initial instinct to go with little odds was best. And we might have even been able to play the little odds pair hand and sacrifice that joker. Although I don't think I would have done that. I think the result for that one, three, five hand with dragons was really good. Three discards. That's pretty good Charleston, I think. The other option with 369 was not bad either. Five discards, but there were no gaps for a concealed hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston chain reaction for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.